Okay, so they think my magic opened up a portal to another dimension. But what do they know? This magic chose me. I'm not going to stop now. I'm going to prove to all of them that this is our salvation. I'll show them that I have this under control and that nothing bad can come of it. Now, don't get me wrong, regardless of the reason for this portal appearing out of nowhere, I'm not an idiot. I do recognise danger when I see it. And I also recognise when people have been driven apart and I hate to see my friends scared. Now, I'm not the noble warrior that blocked down is or a brave adventurer like Drift. That's why I promise to continue using magic to figure a way out of this mess so I can stop being afraid. However, with the looming threat of a monster invasion, I did notice that Mr Beardstone left a message on the notice board to call a town meeting in order to discuss our response to the portal. I volunteered my house for the meeting space, but it didn't take long for an argument to break out. So, guys, I'd, I'd really want to talk to you all about this whole portal thing. I'm, I'm not happy with the situation. I'm a little bit concerned, and no one seems to have mentioned it since the initial incident. And, and does it not concern you? To be honest, it, yes, it does. We, we need to go explore it. And you want to go in there? I thought it'd be a better idea to close it. This is all your fault, Stubbles. My fault? How was it my fault? It's come from your house. Yeah, we all enchanted tools. Could have happened to anyone. Well, I mean, it's, it's probably actually your fault. I'm kind of with blocked down on this one. I think it is actually your fault. We need to just block it off. Stuff came out of there and attacked us. I'll fight anything. I don't care. Oh, yeah, we all know about your warrior prowess, don't we? Yeah, but maybe also we can stop whatever is in there if we go in. Because we don't know what's causing this. Sorry. I know I'm the explorer and I know I should be going in with you guys, but I have to be honest, I'm scared. Look, you have me Listen. protecting you. You got wax. Yeah. You'll be fine. Exactly. Okay. We should be good. I, I do think we need to go in there. I think so too. I mean, I, I completely like disagree. I disagree. I think you're all mad. I think you're putting us all in danger. And yeah, I think it's selfish of you to go in there. How are you guys going to stop us from going in? You know what? Anybody who wants to keep that thing open can get out of my house. I'll see you later. So you're kicking us out? Yeah, I'm kicking you out. And learn how to wipe your shoes before you come into a house. I can't believe those guys. They're more than happy to blame me for the danger, yet they're also willing to meddle with the portal and put us all at risk. I feel like Blockdown is really bringing out the worst in people. I get bad vibes from that guy. Maybe I shouldn't have kicked him out of the house, but it just felt like I was talking to a brick wall. You know, I'm just gonna have to take my mind off things for a while. And on my next walk past the notice board, I did notice a sign from Frogcrafton, asking for somebody knowledgeable and discreet. This seems like a good distraction from the portal. Now, Froggy is a drama-free neighbor, and I was sure that a nice visit to her house would help me de-stress, but, well, I couldn't have been more wrong. Hello? Oh. Hey, Stobbles. Hey, Froggy. I've just seen your little message over there on the notice board. Said you needed somebody discreet. Oh, come in if you are discreet and knowledgeable. I do have to ask you, can I trust you? Mm -hmm, sure. You can definitely trust me with this. All right, follow me. But remember, no telling anyone. And this is your only warning. Don't freak out. No telling anyone. Don't freak out. Yep, I've got it. So Froggy took me down to her basement, which was a little bit ominous. And I really did not expect to see what she was about to show me. What is that i think they're dead people you've got dead people in your basement listen it's not what it sounds like i think that these are people but under some kind of curse oh this is insane i've got to go tell everybody this no is... no 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 you said you would be discreet you've got dead people in a basement we could save them what do you mean we could save them i think that i think that they came from inside the portal i think that the answer to fixing them is inside there Okay, and how do you want me to help with that? Will you help me do some experiments? Some experiments on dead people. What if these are the people that lived here before? What's in it for me? I will help you take down Blockdown. I'm in, let's do it. That does leave the question, will you go inside the portal with me? What, you want me to go inside the portal? Nowhere, I'm not going in that thing. I think the answer to saving them is in there, so I'm gonna go. I can do some research. If you find anything in the portal, feel free to bring it to me after, but we cannot tell anybody about this, Froggy. This is, um, this is insane. It sounds like a plan. You stay here and do your research and I'll be brave. Okay, good luck. Keep me updated, Froggy. I'll not tell anyone, but just try to be safe, okay? This is, this is bizarre. What on earth is she thinking? I can't believe Froggy would pull a crazy stunt like that. What if people see me go into her basement? What if they think I'm to blame for another impending disaster? I've offered to help, but only so I can keep tabs on her, to make sure that nothing gets out of hand. 
I'm also wondering if I can truly trust her. Yeah, I can't help but wonder what may happen if we conduct research on this whole thing. I, you know what, I don't know. This is all getting a bit too much. I'm going to bed. This is your fault. You're not a wizard. You're a fraud! Hey, Stobbles. You were mean to us the other day about going into the portal, and we yeah. all know this is your fault, so you're coming with us. Yep, you're coming with us. We're coming where? Where are we going? Into the portal. Into the portal? Block down. I don't even have any armor or weapons. I don't have any training. What am I supposed to do? There's some fish. You'll figure it out. Some fish? You're yeah. coming with us, buddy. I won't worry. You're a wizard. Uh, yeah. I'm a what? You're a wizard. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, okay, well, let me maybe just grab this sword off the wall. Yeah, we'll train you, be fine. Yeah, okay, we can do some training. He's taking uh... this a lot better than I thought he would. I mean, I'm still dreaming, right? This is a dream. Oh yeah, 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 Oh definitely. yeah, it's a dream, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. a dream, it's fine, it's fine. So Blockdown led me to a recent build that he's been working on. A jousting arena for us all to train our skills and test our warrior capabilities. But there was only one problem with this whole thing. Uh, Lockdown, I don't really feel like I've learned anything. Really? I mean, just trust my methods. I've trained so many, so many warriors, great warriors. Oh, you got, you got nothing to worry about. All right, this is it, guys. Are you all ready? It's only nothing. I don't know about this, guys. Now you're coming, you're coming, you're coming. Yeah, well, after you, after you, Starbles. Yeah, in mind. you go. And through the barrier we went, to an alien world that none of us had ever seen before. This place felt scorching and freezing cold at the same time. The trees and foliage were whispering to each other and the ground was squirming beneath our feet. Suddenly, we were attacked. A thin and slender alien-like figure rushed us as we tried to defend ourselves by using Blockdown as a human meat shield. We escaped and ventured through a blue forest in hopes of seeing signs of something familiar, but instead were greeted with a giant fortress with something on top. Is, is that a house? No, they can't be somebody living in here. It looks lived in, though. This is our chance to find somebody else. This is like the first time that we've seen other people. I mean, we can get a little bit closer, but we shouldn't go in. We've seen the size of this structure. I think how many people are living in there? Against four of us? I think we need to go home, and I think we need to speak to the rest of the people in the village, honestly. Let's go get their opinions, come back, see what's up. I can't sleep in the village. Not tonight. I can't spend any more time around that portal. Not after what I've seen. I feel like nightmares are manifesting around it. I have to clear my head, so I've set up a campsite in the forest to get some fresh air for the night. What if this really is all my fault? What if everybody is in danger from my actions? I don't want to lose everybody again like I did in Greyhaven. I just want what's best for my friends, but I guess I'm just a failure. The next morning when I woke up, I realised that I'd accidentally wandered near Brooks farming area which was handy because I heard rumours that she began to sell horses and I could really use some transport. Brooke? Hello? Oh, hello. I'm in the carrot field. Whoa, this place is beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's my new farm. Very overgrown. I'm not sure why. Yeah, have you got these giant flowers? Um, they just kind of grow. So I've got these little sunflowers in the field and I've got a little field of carrots over there in the beetroot, but they grew really big and I don't know why. I think it's this place. Do you think this is somehow connected to the magic that we've been seeing? I was wondering. That. I mean, I don't see any other reason why they're so big. Could I take some soil samples to take home and experiment on? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, let me give you a couple from the carrot patch, because we've got a couple of giant carrots here. Let me know if that comes to anything. Oh, also, I just wanted to ask, do you sell horses? Oh, I do, yes. Me and Drift have a horse business back at the village. Um, we can go by if you want. And so me and Brooke head back to the village where she was kind enough to show me her new business. Right, it's just down here. So we only have a couple of horses left at the moment, but they're both good. So you can try them out if you want and they're worth three diamonds. Yeah, I mean, I think it might be the brown one that's actually better of the two, but I, I can get you a saddle for it as well. Um, you know what? Just to save you the trouble, I'll take the black one. Now, the only problem is I don't actually have any money. But, hear me out. If you would like to be paired with secrets, I'm your guy. What is it about? I don't want to say it out in the open, but why don't you just follow me back to the village and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, Brooke, you have got to yes. not tell a soul about this, okay? Uh, sure, okay, yes. Because it's actually about one of your neighbours. It's about a frog. Okay, you know what? I'm just I'm just going to show you. Just, just follow me. Oh, this is kind of dark and dingy. We need to go down to the basement. I'm going to open the door and you can go through there and try okay. to just just stay calm okay just stay calm wait what what is this they look like 
people. Yeah, these are dead people. And she's got them in a basement. She's got dead people locked in a basement? She's got dead people locked in a basement, Brooke. I think she's lost her mind. She did ask me about dead people food, and I really didn't know what to make of it. Oh, that's not very subtle at all. That's kind of her own fault. What, what a moron. How do you know about this? Um, I just I just found this. I, I heard noises at night one time, um, so I thought I'd come down and have a look. Well, I'll, I'll keep it quiet, and I'll, I'll leave it to you, and we can just keep an eye on it. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, she's not my neighbour. True. And I'm, I'm moving away from here, so I'm good. So, are we square for the horse? Yeah, you know what? You can take the horse for this. Yes, thank you, Brooke. Anyway, I'm getting out of this place. It gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. I'm out. It's more comfortable knowing that me and Brooke can both keep tabs on Froggy in case she does anything else dangerous. Although, that being said, I do still want to conduct research on her dead people. So, I placed a sign on the notice board asking her to visit my house. Knock, knock. Stubbles. Frog, is that you? Come in. It's me. Come in, come in. Were you followed? No, no one, no one saw me. Okay, come upstairs. Are you okay? You seem panicked. I've been into the portal. Wax fraud, block down, and infinite drift. Came here in the dead of night, pulled me from my bed, and forced me to go in there. And it was horrible. It was scary. It was unnatural, and I don't like it. I, it was scary. I've been in there too. It was really scary. When I went in there, I found some things. Okay, I, I don't know about you, but I would say we need a place where we can start studying these things. Yes, I agree, and I think that it should be out of the village. How about I build you a laboratory and then we can just do exactly what we need to do and get this thing sorted? Yeah, once you're done, I'll I'll lure the people there and then we can start. I'm sure we'll start getting questions, but we've got to keep it secret. Head back home, be safe, make sure nobody sees you and I'll be in touch. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Be safe. Things are starting to get extremely out of hand around here. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of it all, but once this lab's been built, I can get it over with and have one less thing to worry about. I did find a nice private spot on the other side of Ender's Perch, so I gathered some materials and got building. Now that the lab's constructed, I can find Frog Crafted and give her an update on the situation. Froggy, is that you? Oh, hey, Stobbles. Is anyone here? No, no one else is here. It's just me. The lab is finished. Finally, the lab's finished. I've built it in the forest. Um, it's, it's quite out of the way, although it is just opposite Blockdown's Jousting area, but he's pretty dumb. I don't think he's seen it. Oh, probably not. He is kind of dumb. He is, yeah. So if you follow me, I'll, I'll take you there. Whoa. This is a laboratory. This is really knowledgeable. We've got books. We can do all the reading we want over here. We've got a laboratory where we can do our experiments. Do you want to see the most important part? Yes. We've got a painting wall. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's right. You are fancy and knowledgeable and discreet. Fancy wasn't even part of the deal. I took that bit in for free. This is good. I will sneak the people here in the middle of the night and then I will let you know. I will send you a message. Well, I'll stay here. I'll watch guard. I'll help you bring the guys in. Yeah, I'll be back tonight. Okay, let's do this. Stubbles, we finally got them in there. What a mess that was. Yeah, I can't believe you nearly died. Twice. Let's fix them. What have you found? Well, I noticed that orange stick thing you gave me. It's always hot. It never cools down. So I've put it on a little bit of a rack here. And we can treat this as a brewing station. Now, I think we should throw the other materials in that you brought back. And we'll see what happens. So you have all the, the things I gave you, right? Yeah, let's get to work. Okay, so if that book that we were reading is true and golden apples have healing capabilities. I believe throwing this portion on those guys and then force feeding them the apples may have some sort of effect. Okay, let's uh, let's try it out. Should we try it? Okay, you do the honors, you throw it. Oh, they're shivering. Yeah, something's happened in there. Should we maybe give them some privacy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's come back in. I don't know, let's come back in an hour. Let's see what happens. It's been about an hour. Should we go check on them? Yeah, let's go see what they're up to. Ooh, 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 Froggy. <gasps> I knew they were people. They're sleeping it off. It worked. I can't believe we did it. Okay, Um. now what? Why don't you let me worry about what comes next? I'll uh, I'll take care of them. Really? Yeah. After I built this entire lab, I'm off the project. Well, the, the experiment parts are, are done. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave my laboratory in the, you know, in the in the middle of the night. And yeah, a little bit weird, but okay. You know what? I, I just want to say thank you for your discretion. 
and for your knowledge and for your time. Okay, well, it was lovely doing business with you. I'm glad that I got something out of this. And by something, I mean literally nothing, but hey ho. No, no, no. <laughs> remember, I'm going to help you take down block down. I forgot about that little rat. He has been very mean lately too. You know, he dragged me out of bed, made me go through the portal. I mean, you did make me go in there alone by myself. I didn't ask you to capture dead people and put them in your basement. That was kind of on you. Well, wh you know what? Why don't you start minding your own business, Stobbles? This is the end of our professional relationship. You better watch your back. I don't I don't like your attitude. You, you, know, you know what? I hope they turn back into zombies. I said it. And you know what else? I don't care that you hurt your elbow. Your horse is probably alone in the woods by himself. Well, it's better than being not alone and in here with you, okay? So, goodbye. Good day. Good night. As if Froggy would kick me off the project like that after all of my hard work. She's acting extremely suspicious. I think I know her well enough now to recognize when she's up to something. There's no way I'm going to stop keeping an eye on her now. But now that the whole dead people situation's over, I feel like I should really organize a town meeting so I can let the village know what we found through the portal. Okay, thank you all for coming. Now, what we need to discuss is very important and it involves all of us, okay? First thing I want to get off my chest, I've been in the portal. Wasn't my fault. I got dragged in there, blocked down, drift and wax. Pulled me out of bed and they forced me to go in there, okay? That is not okay. No. I thought we agreed not to go in the portal. It had to be done. We had to do it. Okay, so now that it's already been done, what happened? So yeah, we went in the portal, um, had a little look around. Everything's going fine, 100% success rate. And we did stumble across what looks like someone living in there, I want to say. What? Someone living in there? What? Yeah, we, there, there's that? a house. And we also saw some really weird bricks. Like, I've never seen these bricks before, guys. You're obsessed with the bricks. I know, they're just they're just really interesting to me. I'm sorry. Wait, do we I'm need to rescue them? Like, what are they like, doing in there? The bricks? What? No, the person. The, per the person. I say leave them. You started talking about this, and now there's thunder outside. Hear me out, Mr. Beardstone. Hear me out, okay? Right. We don't know how to close the portal yet. Maybe whoever's in that house can help us out. That's, that's not a bad point, actually. Yeah, mm. I think we need to help them. That place seems dangerous, and we need to help them out. What if they're dangerous, though? There's eight of us and one of them. How do you know? There could be a whole army of people there. Well, that takes me to the next point. The house is in the middle of a giant fortress, and there's a nope. lot of spooky nope. monsters there. Nope. Mr. B. Mr. B, come back. Come right? back. You can't run away forever, Mr. B. Sometimes we have to take action, and this is one of those times. Wow. She's all right. Yeah, that, was, that, that was actually quite terrifying, so I'm just going to sit back down. Sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Look, we've got blocked down. He's got a hundred percent success rate as a warrior. He's going to lead us in there. It's it's only a two-minute walk, and then we can we you know maybe we can figure out how to close this thing and be done with it. I mean, I like the sound of that closing it, being done with it. Yep, I'm all up for that. Yeah, are we all in agreement? Let's do it. I I'm I'm in. I found I found this big fork. I found this big fork in the water, and I'm ready to eat so much spaghetti. I'm ready. Let's it? let's rescue these bricks. We're let's rescue the person. person. Oh yeah 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 the person the person. You're right, and the bricks. Hey, are we all prepared? Do we have weapons? He needs uh, weapons when you have me. What goes first? You, really? Yeah, 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 go for it, yeah. Okay, uh, see you in there. So once again, I found myself stepping through the rift. Although this time with the combined courage of the entire group, we traversed a familiar yet unwelcome path and came face to face with the fortress yet again. It seemed like this time we were expected and were greeted with fireballs and hordes of skeletons. Following Blockdown's lead, we bridged across and found ourselves in an ambush, surrounded by dark skeletons in every direction where things were looking fatal for the group. 